Hello everyone, and it's time for the post-game. Well, the first video of the post-game. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So, the post-game isn't really going to be me making long videos and exploring what we can do in the post-game. The post-game is just going to be me showcasing the legendary Pokemon that you can catch in this game. So I'll show you guys the town map real quick. I have opened up this particular area and I have opened up Ramanus Park. So yeah, we so yeah, I, I made sure to open up everything so that way I can do them. So in this video we're gonna be catching Giratina. So to get to Giratina, we have to go, we have to, you have to fly here to Valstone City. And head out to Routes 214. And uh, I guess I should have shown this during the main game, but if you surf up here. There's a rare candy here. Honestly, I forgot there was a rare candy up there. And of and and of course. Yeah, I'm not dealing with any of that garbage. Alright, so let's just quickly turn on a um Where are they? Max appels. Let's just turn them on while we're at it. And so we've got a rare candy, so we can use that if we need if we really need to. Alright, so I've turned on a, so I've turned on a repel now. So we shouldn't run into any more Pokemon. Make sure to battle as many trainers as I can. And now and now we've got this little path now open called the Spring Path. This path only becomes available once you beat the game. Also, I guess I did forget to film this, but I guess I should show you guys quickly. Oh yeah, here's my new team, and uh, you guys are probably wondering how the hell do I have an Infinite? Well, there's one. Well, there are uh, the starters in the underground. You can catch the other starters in the underground. So I guess I can quickly show you guys right here. Here are the other starters that you can obtain. They are all in the underground. So yeah, make sure you keep an eye on. Them. So yeah, make sure you keep your eyes peeled on that. Uh, Beldum, I also got in the underground. So. And also, I want to show you this guy, Rotom. I'll put him in the uh, legendary box over here. I did forget to record this one, but um, basically, to get Rotom, you have to beat the game, make sure it's night time, and you go to Eterna Forest, and there's like this mansion. There's this mansion, and then you go to a TV, and you hit the TV, and then Rotom will appear will appear and attack and will attack you so yeah so yeah that's how you get that so yeah that's how you get them that's how you get Rotom and and, and then the moment you catch Rotom they give you um they give you a secret key I guess I guess I can show you guys um you get this secret key and then you get this Rotom catalog where you can just change your uh, Rotom's uh Lions, like you can change what form it is, and I got the catch charm and the DS sounds. I think these are post-game content. Catch and charm. Uh, this help. Th th you get this once you get all the Pokemon, and DS sounds is when you beat the game. Where we'll revert the music back to you know the DS soundtrack, which I haven't tried that yet, but maybe. Maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll show it off one day, but now that we're done now that I'm done explaining everything, now it's time to head into this cave called the Turnback Cave. Yeah, I've done some shiny yeah, I've done a few uh Poke Radar stuff and I completely ignore Make sure you blow all that away. Yeah, 
Make sure you blow all that away. Yeah, so I have a Beldum on my team uh, because I wanted a Steel type, so it's gonna take me a while to get him uh, get him there. So to find um, Giratino, you gotta keep going through these doors. You gotta keep going through all of these doors until you find uh, what you saw in the first room. I think you've got to find that at least three times? Yeah, I think it's about three times. But yeah, the turn back cave can be very confusing. So that's why you need repels. Okay. Okay, so we found this twice. Can we find it one more time? I believe that's how it works. And there it is! And we should be able, and we should... Yep, here it is. Yep, there it is, Giratina. See that's, see, that's not so... See, that's really not difficult. It's actually pretty easy. So yeah, here's uh, my new team. I'll be leveling Beldum up, so that way I can get him on par with everybody else. Yeah, I needed a damn fire type and a cork and chimchar in the underground, so I think it was only fair. Okay. Alright, so let's save. Because we might accidentally uh, kill Giratina. I think he's level 70, if my memory serves me correctly. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to quickly mention before, right, before, before this battle. Remember back I think it was when I went back, I think it was all the way back when I crushed Maylene uh, in my third attempt when I have fully evolved when I have fully evolved most of my Pokemon. I remember in that video I was bummed out by by me keeping Electabuzz and I and I, was, and I had to keep Electabuzz throughout the whole game and I couldn't evolve it into Electab uh, into Electivire. I now fully respect my decision to not evolve Electabuzz into Electivire because I just remembered that if I evolved Electabuzz into Electivire he would have lost his static ability and he would have gained Motor Drive. He would have gained Motor Drive because that's um, Electabuzz's si Electivire's signature ability. So technically if I did evolve Electabuzz I would have been screwed in the champion fight because basically static saved me in uh in that fight so i so i can fully commend my decision to not fully to not evolve electabuzz i i now i'm now ready to evolve him but i don't have but for some stupid reason the trading is a bit shit all right so no more wasting time let's battle giratina Giratina, yes, he's level 70, I was right. Level 70! Alright, let's uh, open up with a quick ball. I actually like this remix a lot better than the original. Ah, poo. Well, I figured that wouldn't work. Okay, pain split. Okay. I think I was told Giratina's moveset got changed. Um, how am I going to weaken this? 
I guess I could throw Electabuzz out there for a static chance. I'm not sure. I, I, I've been told his moves got changed. I don't know if he's got Shadow Force. Oh, yeah, there it is. There you go. My question just got answered. Alright, let's just use Cross Chop because we can't hit it. Alright, let's see if we can get the effect of... Whoa! Yes! That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted Electabuzz to do. To get the effect of uh, Static off. Let's just thunder. Man, I'm honestly surprised. I'm honestly shocked on how often thunder has worked for me through ever since I started using it. I checked its accuracy. It's about 70% accuracy, but it's been hitting every time I've used it so far. We'll have all right. Okay, so it's losing HP. Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay, Pain Split might be a bad idea then. Weakening it might be a bad idea. Let's just try throwing some... Ah, some balls now. Ah, Shadow Force is going to be a bit... Shadow Force is going to be quite annoying. Because you can't... You can't throw a, a ball at it because you can't see it. Oh, yes! Selectabuzz dodged. Okay. Good stuff. Let's keep trying. Oh. oh, he's got. Oh, he's got Dragon Claw. Okay. Okay. So we. I guess I now know his moves. It's uh. Pain Split, Shadow Force, Dragon Claw, and one more move. All right. Let's just keep trying. Okay. What's your fourth move? Very curious what his fourth move is. Because I am aware his moveset got changed. Ah! Alright, Electabuzz goes down here. That's fine. That's fine. That Electabuzz goes down. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw Beldum out there. He, I, I don't think Beldum will be able to <laughs> stall out. A level 70 base Pokemon that's basically Satan. Giratina is basically the Pokemon world's Satan. Ah. Uh, okay, he's pain splitting. Oh! 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 Oh, okay. So sometimes it can heal him and sometimes it will hurt him. Okay, so. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, okay, it's healing him now. Right, let's just try a heal ball, just for a laugh. Ah! Man! Couldn't even have fun! Oh, okay. I'm not gonna use the Master Ball, because I'm not that cheap. I still want to hold on to it. Alright, Ultra Ball. Ah, poo. Okay. Aura Sphere, there we go. There's its four moves. Yeah, that, that is a complete different moveset to what I remember. Yeah, that is a very different moveset. I don't ever remember it knowing... Ah. Aura Sphere and uh, Pain Split. Don't ever remember it ever, ever learn... I, I, I know we can learn um, Aura Sphere, but I... Right, let's just use Slack Off to heal up some HP. But I don't ever remember Giratina ever using um, Pain Split. I need, I need to do something to weaken it, but I'm really, really scared to do anything. Alright, let's just try weakening it down a little bit. Alright, that does recoil. Ah. Okay. Man, considering that Pain Split can either hurt it or heal it. Oh, 
Oh, it could really be a double-edged sword. Okay, he's in the red now. Yeah, but for how long? But let's find out. Come on. Man, at least the freaking... At least uh, the uh, lake trio didn't take me long. All right, let's just... Cover here. Uh, okay, let's just keep trying. Let's just keep trying. Oh my goodness. Come on, we're in a cave. It should work. Uh, down goes infinite. Come on, we're in a cave. It should work. <laughs> Why is it not working? We're in a cave. We're in a cave. Come on, it should work. It's night time and we're in a cave. One. Oh, I really don't get the logic of a Pokemon sometimes. Alright, just hang in there, Torterra. It says that this Pokeball works in dark caves. Ah! I had to stop talking. I had to stop talking there. Yeah, like they say, like, oh, but this this works in dark caves and even and even at night time. But then, but then when you but then but then but then when you use that said ball, that actually helps. In those certain areas, then you just see it fail, and then, it's just, then you're just like, wow, so much work working in dark caves. Yes! Awesome! And it what and it and it ended up working in the end! Yes! I'm at, yes, very happy with that. Giratina, the renegade Pokemon. This is its alternative form. And um Yeah And that's this ep and that's this video That's it That's it that's the end of this video Yep that's all I'm yep that's all I'm showing you guys for today From now on these videos are now going to be really really short Uh what box did he end up going to? He went to here Yep that's basically all I'm gonna be showing you guys For the rest of the post game it's just gonna be one video of me catching uh legendaries so yeah that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next episode what legendary am i gonna go for next after this that's a good question i don't know yet but maybe heatran maybe chrysalia because i think we can get i think chrysalia is open to me I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll decide later. So, see you all next time.